Good morning, friends. It's Alexor again, and I wanted to talk today a little bit about... First of all, actually, the background, I know. I'm very sorry. <laughs> I have construction in the house today, or this week, rather. Uh, my office and the living room is being redone. So we had to sort of degrade ourselves into... It's a second children's room, which we don't have yet. We don't have a second child, so that's just free and full of stuff. Anyway, so I wanted to talk about... Diablo Werfer's Path of Exile, sort of, today, and why many are completely missing the point about the whole Path of Exile update, because everyone says Path of Exile nuked everything, right? And D4 bad, because basically what people are saying, how is it possible that a multi-million dollar company like Blizzard only manages to put out one class and talks about it for one and a half hours, and Path of Exile, which is a small company, or grinding your games for that matter, basically makes an entire new game in one season in 45 minutes explained right after D4 pretty much dunking on them. And to be honest, to be completely transparent, I was talking shit on them on Twitter as well because that was my initial reaction. At first I was like, how did Blizzard not do that or something similar to that? And then I realized maybe it's not that easy. Maybe it's all not that easy because you have to think about the following, right? What Diablo, or Blizzard rather, is doing here, this is a whole new class, but it's not just a new class, it's an entire expansion. So we are getting new story, and we don't know how long it is. I think the Diablo 4 campaign is actually quite long, and I like that. So there might be a lot more coming in this as well, which is great. Sorry by the background noise, by the way. <clears throat> So there's also a lot more that has to go into this, right? A whole new storyline. Um, the script has to be written. The uh, stuff has to be voiced, right? Voice actors, you need to bring them back in to voice all the characters. The cinematics, right? And then you have to also put the whole class into the game as is, right? A new class is a lot of work. Perfexa doesn't have a new class, does it? So putting that in there with all the UI and interactions with the other classes and all that stuff, that's a lot of work, right? All the animations. That is a lot to do. Whereas Path Exile only, to say that way, it's not only, but you get my point. They really were using existing systems. If you look at it, most of it like the recombination and even said some of the bosses were from, from past leaks. So they had all this already sitting. They just threw it all into this league again, right? To me, it seems like except for the balance patch uh, changes, which is of course a lot, but apart from the balance changes, the only thing that's really new is the whole town building system, which I'm, I'm not saying that it's not a lot of work, but compared to putting an entirely new class and a new campaign and storyline and voice acting and whatever into the game, it's a lot less work, right? Especially because Blizzard also is a huge company and they have a lot of marketing going on. It also has to be planned. This is why Diablo generally has, or like, you know, Diablo generally has more players than Perfect Side does like on a, on a regular basis. Not just because it is more focused on the casual player than Path of Exile is, but also because the marketing is much bigger. We saw the same problem with Last Epoch, which is a great game, but it doesn't have the same big marketing as Blizzard has. So just way less people know about it. Like people asked me on the 9th when the uh, new season was actually launching, when the new season will be launching. So anyway, different topic. But the point is, why, like the point I'm trying to make here is why does everything always has to be in competition? And Rex even said the same thing recently in the stream, if I'm not, I think it was him. Maybe DM, I'm not sure who it was. I think it was Rex. Um, why does everything always has to be competition and in a, in a negative manner? Competition itself is good because if these games are competing against each other, who wins? We win. The customer wins. The gamers win, right? But why does it always has to turn negative? Like why can you not say, okay... Path Exile has world building. Wouldn't that be cool in D4? Instead, we just say D4 bad. People are also saying the same thing about Last Epoch, by the way, uh, and many other things. So, so it's not just D4, right? Um, this is always happening. People are, some people who are true D4 fanboys also talk shit on Path of Exile, right? Because it doesn't look as good or whatever, or it's too complicated. It's just for degenerates. So why does it always have to be so negative? Why can we not just enjoy that there is a great new league? There is a full expansion coming to um, Diablo 4. Also, Season 5 looks like they are finally buffing 
my girl, the sorceress. Finally buffing her. That looks that looks good. So why why is this a thing to always talk shit on D4? And people are really biased. Again, it's not just D4 really, but once they sort of have their bias confirmed or set up for a certain game, what they think of it, it's almost impossible to get them out of it again. Even Asmongold said in a recent stream that D4 is actually good now. And he was one of the people who was talking a lot of shit uh, early game. And especially ever since season four, he said that after L Loot Reborn, the game is really good now. He says it's a really good game. But people are still saying it sucks. And same thing about the other RPGs, whatever you want to call it. So I want you really, the, the point of this whole video is to understand, first of all, the difference of what's being put here. Diablo or Blizzard is not just putting a new season in this in this game. It's not just a new season with a cool seasonal mechanic like the road building. It's an entire new expansion. It's literally, it's not just a DLC. If you think back in the days when you had to buy physical copies of your game, you would have gotten a new CD with the next expansion on it. So it's a whole new game really that is being added. Now we, I hope that there is also more coming. We just don't know, but I think there is. I mean, we sort of have leaked already that the level cap is going to be higher or at least going to be changed. I'm sure there will be huge changes to the whole system as well. I don't think Blizzard is just going to put out an expansion that just has a class in it and nothing else. I don't think that that daft. <laughs> that there's going to be a lot in that expansion for sure. So just enjoy both games. That's what I'm really want to want to get to it. And just don't look don't not always try to look at the negative things, at the bad things. Try to look at what's good and what other games can learn from this. We've seen it. D4 is stealing from LE. LE is stealing from D4. Perfectile is even stealing from D4 and vice versa. And that's great. That is great. I want them to steal as much as possible because that means the games get better for all of us. So you can play your favorite game, whatever that is. And you have all the benefits all the other games also have. I mean, there's one thing we can add to this. And because you might be asking, why is D4 actually charging so much money, right? If you think about it, I mean, I got this, this bundle. The new game, 70 bucks with the expansion, 30 bucks, that's 100, but I got it for 70, so a steal. But Perfect Side does everything for free. So how is this happening? And I think, personally, I think Blizzard is not just charging that money be because they need all the, all their stuff to be paid because there's a lot of microtransactions in the game. And um, I think it was one of the best selling RPGs of all time. I think they're charging that much money because they can Plain and simple. Diablo is a huge name. Blizzard is a huge name still, even though they keep fucking up every now and then. Um, but still. So I think they are charging that much money because they can. And because you and me, we are paying it, right? We are always complaining that everything is so expensive and then we buy it anyway. If you want this to change, what with your wallet? It's as simple as that. There's really nothing, nothing else I can give you for that. <laughs> it's just if you don't like this, don't buy it. Instead, support the games that are cheap. And have great microtransactions and you really enjoy throw your money at them it's very simple if you really hate d4 why are you still playing it why you're still buying the expansions why you're still buying microtransactions it's really something you have to ask yourself All right that was it so i hope this helps to understand the sort of difference what is going on here it's not always as easy as it might look with just adding a class all right that was it for today let me know in the comments what you think of it and i will see you in the next video